Hi everyone, uh, my name is Christian Hoffmann. I have a background in geography actually. Um, I work for the Rhein Alemann Institute in Berlin and I would just like to briefly present the open energy and ontology to you. Uh, the OEO aims to be the ontology for domain energy system modeling and I will go further into what that means in the next couple minutes. Um, so for everyone who doesn't know what an ontology is, um, in information science, an ontology is a way of showing the properties of a subject area and how they are related. Uh, in order to achieve that, it must define a set of concepts and categories uh, that represent the subject. So an ontology uh, features a formal naming and definition of categories uh, of properties and relations between uh, concepts, data and entities. You can think uh, of an ontology as a well-structured and well-defined description of reality. And it covers all the elements of interest and their interactions. And uh, as I said, the OEO aims to be the ontology for the domain of energy system modeling. Uh, what's an ontology good for? Um, an ontology has uh, quite a few use cases. For example, uh, it can uh, be used to standardize terminology in a field. Uh, even with ambiguous terms, uh, the structure of ontology can be used uh, as a reference to describe exactly what you're talking about uh, with ambiguous terms. Um, it can be used for annotating and integrating data. Um, if you apply an ontology to data, it allows, among other things, um, for enhanced querying and uh, crucially querying across different data sets. Uh, thirdly, on this list, it can provide a structure used to collect uniform data across different projects. So you can have like uh, templates uh, for everyone to fill out. Uh, an ontology can be visualized, for example, as graphs or trees, uh, which make understanding the structure of the field uh, a lot easier, for, especially for people who are not very much into that field. Um, it can be used for text and data mining. Um, you could use uh, the ontology to automatically search across a text or a data resource and then find mentions of ontology entities and that helps you to just restructure information that you find anywhere. Um, then you can use uh, an ontology to analyze semantic similarity. So in a large database, um, you can look at the entities and study in how they and how far they are similar. So in the end, you could, for example, use it in a clustering to show how entities are similar to each other. And lastly, um, you could use an ontology to analyze your data. You can create knowledge graphs, and then those knowledge graphs you can use, uh, for example, uh, with predictive algorithms. Uh, and uh, for the people among you who have some experience with ontologies already, here are some characteristics of the open energy ontology in particular. It's, uh, as I said a couple times now, a, a domain for the field of energy uh, research modelers, and it's developed by energy research modelers. It uses the Manchester OWL syntax, and it uses the basic formal ontology as a top level ontology. The uh, developers use uh, mainly Protege as a development tool, and it's openly licensed. That's quite important. That should have been top of the list. Uh, that's uh, it's licensed CC0, uh, which is basically as close to public domain as the <laughs> German law allows us to be. And um, the development is going on on GitHub, and still somewhat in its early stages. Uh, but the development. Uh, development goes on in a very structured way, and the first release is scheduled for July 1st. Um, just to give you a context in which the ontology is developed, it's uh, developed as part as uh, part of the Open Energy family, which is a bigger ecosystem of tools used in energy system modeling and includes an open database. Uh, you might have, uh, you might be aware of the Open Energy platform. Um, it, uh, has uh, metadata standards and some other utility programs. Um, and who's involved in the OEO? Um, here's a list of 
institutions and projects involved. Um, I don't know if I still have time uh, to go into these, but um, still have one. one minute. Okay, I'm going to skip the institutions and projects then, but um, I would like to say um, that there is uh, that we have summoned a steering committee with a group of people who have been working in the field for a long time. And it's their job to increase awareness and to shepherd the development of the ontology and to make also directional decisions uh, whenever a straightforward path is not really available. And I'd like to end by saying that uh, we hereby invite all of you to join us in the development. Uh, this is an open collaborative project. Uh, we are very excited about it and it can only get better if more voices from this field are involved. Um, it's a good place. Uh, a good place to start is uh, just to look at the GitHub page, see what some of the open issues are. And if you like, you could also just uh, contact me if you don't know where to start and I might be able to either answer questions or redirect you. And uh, that's it from my end. And I'm open for questions now. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, Nicholas, would you like to ask your question? Sure. Um, yeah, thank you, Christian, for the for the presentation. Um, I was wondering if you have been exploring interactions between the ontology and data provenance, um, because it's uh, quite a topic. Uh, energy system models uh, take a lot of data as input, and uh, most of the times, especially if you're new to a group or whatever, you don't really know where the data comes from, what the original source was. And um, I could imagine that there are some interesting interactions between your works for structuring um, entities, basically, and data provenance. Yeah, data provenance is not per se part of the ontology, but the ontology is uh, going to integrate with the metadata standard that we also developed as part of the open energy family and uh, data provenance is uh, taken care of there. There's like uh, good um, traceability of sources and uh, just provenance in general. Okay, thanks. I would still have a one minute um, uh, question. Um, yeah. really, cool, really cool presentation. How do you, uh, what are your plans for actually making this easily accessible for people who just have two minutes to say, I have this model, how should I name things? Um, that's a good question. That's, uh, that's a tough one too. Um, for now, we are only in the early stages of development, but I suppose the idea is to have like a nice template interface on the Open Energy platform where you can just uh, upload your data and then connect whatever data points you have to entities in the ontology. That would be ideal, but that's quite a lot of work, I think, in uh, respect to uh, usability. I can see that going quite, I don't know, I can imagine it being quite difficult to make it easily accessible. So that's a challenge ahead. <laughs>